Oh my. What is that? Oh <laughs> well. This is what snowman looks like uh, when he's been stripped. <laughs> anyway, this is what I wanted to find out. I was really, uh, this one was going to be a uh, sacrificial uh, snowman. Well, we'll still use it for something else, but it won't be use that. But shut this off. I uh, wanted to see really what made this mechanism work and how it worked. So uh, I completely took the uh, the uh, plush part off, and uh, I mean it came right off. It's not nothing. Just had to pull it apart. It was just glued a little bit right around the base here, a little bit, and then it screws onto that uh, little gift square cube, that little gift cube, and then I thought it would be. Uh, Kind of neat just to stick some temporary eyeballs on the little nose cone here this is the part that's up in the up in the head this part sits up in here and uh springs up and down goes back and forth um, plastic arms these things are really tough you can bend these a lot you don't have to uh, bend them too far but that's that pretty tough plastic but uh, I wanted to go over real quickly too um, on what that other gear was that I mentioned in the other video. So then I, I've got a picture of it here. So I drew an arrow pointing to that gear that was floating on that shaft. Well, it's supposed to, because I figured, I got to thinking about it later and this is like an idler gear that keeps that crown gear stable because you're going to have when this thing runs in reverse this this gear right here this gear the small gear and then this cup and then there's another gear underneath this cup that's like a clutch so when that's running in the normal forward mode so when he's when he's bobbing and dancing around, that gear is disengaged. This gear is disengaged from this part down in here. And then when he does his little dance at the end, I'm just simply going to reverse the polarity here. Now you'll see that he does the uh, turn. After he's finished with the last song, then he, he does that turn. So he turns and looks at whoever's watching the prop, you know, kind of give an idea, okay, he's done playing the piano now. So it'll just sit there and do that all day long. And then the two leaf switches are being opened and closed, opened and closed, and they've got a common ground inside. So that's why there's only three wires that leave here for the leaf switch. So the green and the kind of the tannish orange wire, these two, those two right there run the main motor. And then these three, the gray, the white, the yellow, those are uh, running back to the leaf switches. So that getting back to the gear, that's what this gear does. It rides over here on the crown gear and then it stabilizes that. It's just, it's just a follower. It's just something to keep that from, you know, rock, rocking back and forth and binding up. So when this motor goes in reverse, then you can watch this bottom gear right here. It, it pushes this bottom gear down because it's, it's spinning the other way. So there's little, little teeth underneath that cup right here that uh, when it's running forward, it it's, it's engaged and running this way and then when it runs the other way then it pushes it back and then it locks in again and then it runs this so when this is turning then there's a little cam right down here that will make him um, do his uh, turn and then after he's finished it does his little turn routine there because that was a pretty unique uh, gearing in this thing. It's a, 
pretty neat what they did and, and be able to do it. That's just why they wanted to probably just do it all with one motor. And that is a, uh, that is a 280, that's a 280 electric motor on, on, uh, on this one. So it's, it's bigger than a 130, of course, but, uh, this one has runs anywhere from, um, it'll run anywhere from four to, I think about 10 volts somewhere in there. So, I mean, it, it puts out a lot of torque. So uh, that's what I wanted to clarify also on the on the gearing. And then of course this little cam up here is what does all the uh, the uh, head bob up and down, up and down. I get the polarity back. We'll put the wiring back here. I don't have my little Ford reverse switch on here and I don't have my H bridge hooks hooked up either. So trying to do this one handed grab that wire and then make him run forward there so now it's spinning the other way and then disengaging this area here so it doesn't spin so there's like i say a little cam down in here so it's kind of like uh um, what they did in zoltar i mean they made a lot of uh a lot of different gearing and cam movement to do all what he does with just one motor in the bottom of Zoltar. So, and, be, and this was back in the maiden, this was a 2005 unit. So, and I fixed the belt because that's what was wrong. That little belt was completely uh, uh, stretched way out. I mean, it, you know, age and then the plastic uh, got really bad. So that's what happened. But yeah, the, uh, Little snowman, he uh, he's open there in the back. So if you set him, <laughs> if you set him up, if I set that head down, so I can put that right back, you know, right back down on here, and then he looks normal. But uh, I just was curious about more about how it worked, and so then I can use this as an example uh, for reference on how this. Uh, piece a little robotic piece works and then uh, and the little eyes I just stuck on there with some little two-way tape kind of gives it a maybe a little personality instead of just a blank but anyway that's uh, the 2005 piano playing snowman routine and gearing inside of it so I just put another little poly belt on there and that's fixed that one. So, and then the other one that I fixed uh, over here, now this one is my fully working one. And this one here was the one that had the dirty motor. I had to take it all apart. So, so he's, he works perfectly fine and he spins over here as well. And then here's a pair back here of, of a snowman, snow woman. Uh, these two are completely uh, dead, and then the battery box on the Snow Woman uh, totally corroded. Uh, it's, I'm going to have to direct wire those, but I want to take these apart, and then I'll do a little thing on on uh, them too on how it works because uh, I probably won't be able to fix that unless I have another one. I don't have any parts for that. If I buy another cheap one somewhere, then I could you know do that. And then uh, it was kind of interesting. He pulls about uh, uh, a little more current in when it's running the bow, you know, the turn routine, which it would because the motor's under a little bit more of a load that way. So anyway, I just thought I would bring, do that. We'll do a little third part on this, and then uh, how how that transmission works in the inside of this little prop. So as always, guys, I appreciate it. And thank you for watching my videos, and we'll come at you a little later.